Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. What's going on guys? So this is about as real as it gets. I just woke up. It's Sunday morning and we're going to film a video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Haley. I'm a lifestyle content creator here on YouTube and I'd be super excited if you guys hit that subscribe button and followed along on social media. Make sure you guys click on the bell so that way you're notified of when I post new videos. But today I am doing a little bit of a different video. I've seen these clay masks all over social media and we're gonna test it out. But while I test it out, we're also gonna answer some of your highly asked questions. So this is the Misfit Cosmetics Powerful Peel-Off Mask Blackhead Extraction Paste. To apply onto clean, dry skin, avoid eyebrows, eyes, lips, peel off mask after 20 to 30 minutes. Apply toner to tighten and cleanse pores after. Do not apply to damaged skin. And now we leave this on for like 20 to 30 minutes. Should we answer some questions? The first one is, how do you know when your friends are being honest? How do you find good friends? It seems like you have a great friend group. Great question. So I guess it's kind of like saying like, how do you know your friends are being genuine? And I always go back to a Bible verse, Proverbs 18, 24, pause. I just realized I'm like talking to you with a face mask on. Like, is this like so weird? Proverbs 18, 24, a man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Proverbs 13, 20 also says, he who walks with the wise grow wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. So it just kind of talks about like being in the right friend group. So I have a few friends who I don't see very often, but when I do see them, it's like I saw them yesterday. And that's like the true definition of a friend. Those people who understand that you're busy or that you've got things going on and are always gonna be for you like no matter what. So I think the three top qualities in a friend are understanding, compassion, and Love. You have to truly love somebody. I really just, this face mask, I can't take myself seriously. How do you deal with anxiety around fitness and your workout routine? I used to be very anxious about working out every day and working with Rip to Shreds or Kayla Menzel, he's my coach, I'll have his information linked down below. He's really helping me to understand the balance between lifestyle and you know trying to make it work and not have to fit the mold of everybody else. Just because you see someone who trains six to seven days a week doesn't mean it's going to be right for you. You have to have it adapt to your lifestyle or it's not going to be maintainable. So I would say if you're anxious about getting in your workouts in like six days a week or having a you know an hour and a half workout do what you can and do not let it control you that is the best advice i could really give you the next question i feel like we should do funny q a's like this all the time what is your go-to workout when you don't have a lot of time well when I don't have a lot of time and I want to optimize as many calories in my session or burn as many calories in my session, oh, this is getting tight. I might not be able to answer all the questions and talk. So if you're short on time, you want the most caloric burn in the shortest amount of time, most likely, um, unless you're on some kind of strength program. So I would say to superset your movements and make them full body. So instead of doing a normal standing bicep curl, you would do a like a staggered stance or a lunging bicep curl because you're engaging all of your muscles. It's a full body, your full body is getting recruitment. So it's going to burn more calories and then go right into another exercise size you even add in some kind of like plyometric movement in between let's just hypothetically say you do a lunging bicep curl and then a squat press and then you do a minute of high knees you want to be maximizing all of your your body parts and getting your heart rate up kind of engage all of your muscles versus um, isolating how did you know you wanted to be a youtuber um <laughs> I didn't know I wanted to be a YouTuber. I don't think I ever set out to be like, I'm going to be a YouTuber with my career. My career path really started from a creative perspective. I wanted to be an art school and like end up working in New York for a fashion magazine or a lifestyle magazine because I love lifestyle content and it's just kind of funny. I really could have, oh, oh, it's cracking. And then I also, once I realized that I had such a passion for fitness and wellness and nutrition and food, I was like, oh my gosh, I just want to help people like live their best life, give them real advice and be credible for what I'm doing. So I took the Institute of Integrated Nutrition course. I've gotten different certifications. I have found a platform where I can speak to you guys. 
so that's really it's more about like the type of content versus like the platform it's not so much about being a youtuber as being able to reach a lot of people on a platform. Time is almost up to peel off this mask and if you guys like these types of videos where they're super casual, I test out a product or talk to you guys about something and answer your questions, it's more just kind of like I set the camera up, no fuss, I mean hello, I'm in a Ron John surf shop hoodie. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not already and follow along on social media. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have a Hales Health account, which is like my health and fitness account, which is where I post all of my recipes. You guys can have access to my eBooks and all of that stuff over there. So make sure you guys follow along over there. But we are going to peel this off and I feel like it might hurt. I don't know, let's start. Oh boy, oh. Hey Josh. Can you help me? I have to peel off this mask. Duh. Like a band-aid. <laughs> ah! <laughs> like a band-aid? Like, how do you hack it? No. Careful. <laughs> oh, did you never say Ow. <laughs> oh, it's not so much painful, it's just like, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I definitely would say my skin feels really clean right now, which is awesome, because sometimes I feel like masks just exfoliate, they don't really take anything off, so I understand how this is like extracting the blackheads, like, does my skin feel really soft right now? Yes. Wow. Ah. Uh, uh, would you do your chest? No. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, do you know how much I die? <laughs> <laughs> like a freaking noose. I think I have a tear. Are we good? I mean... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go wash the rest of this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we got that off my face, that was hysterical. It's really not that painful. It's just like, kind of like taking off a band-aid, but not as bad. Um, I'm not saying this because I was sent this product, but my skin is really, really soft and feels extremely clean. And last night we went to a wedding and I had a, like a good amount of makeup on and my face was so just like clogged and gross this morning when I woke up. So I did my normal skincare routine and now I just, it feels like new skin. Like, oh my gosh. I could see how if you have drier skin, it would be something you wouldn't want to use that frequently because it's, it's pretty extreme, but I can't get over my skin right now. See how there's like little white dots? That's like whiteheads and dead skin. So like I said, I will have everything in the down bar for you guys. If you're interested, you guys can check it out. Let me know if you like it or if, if you've ever tried any of these peel off masks. I think they're pretty fun. As always, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.